a trash can and said, said that the postal man lost it or whatever. Giving me a shopping cart that I never ordered and then get mad because I returned it back, Father God. Telling me that they sent me pillow covers in my mailbox that day and then I go to the mailbox it's not there and then I ask for a refund from the merchant and she gives it to me and then a month later then the pillow colors are back in my mailbox these postal service people playing games on my packages father and the UPS and the FedEx people lying and covering up out that card and having strange people coming at my door that don't even work for FedEx that they claim that work for FedEx is not in uniforms playing these kind of sight games with me, Father God. And causing my packages to be lost or giving my packages to a neighbor to bring to me and all this kind of craziness, Father God, that Walmart have set up. Walmart team perps have set this up to play these sigh up games against me. I pray that you judge and punish these Walmart perps for doing this and the Walmart reps that were rude to me on the phone. Including some of these supervisor Walmart perps that was rude and nosy. And the one that said that she was going to play blessings on me, which she means she's going to pray witchcraft curses on me. Not blessings, mind you. So, Father God, I pray and nosing and asking me nosy questions that and probing me on the phone, too. Father God. And being rude to me and not answering my questions and then just getting silent with me and not saying nothing when I get to the point of asking them what happened to the package or whatever. And how come it's being this and that and blah, blah, blah. So, Father God, I just pray that you would judge these Walmart reps for the way they mistreated me and the way they like to aggravate me to provoke me to anger. And then when I get riled up and I didn't, and I didn't lose my cool to the point where I'm cussing them out or nothing like that, my voice got firm, but father God, I still kept my posture father God with your help, but Walmart perps love to aggravate me. And then the way they mistreat me when I shop in their stores, treat me like a pariah when I'm not father God and still and telling all kind of lies about me. Father God, I pray that you judge every business that mistreat me and treat me like a pariah when I shop at their stores, Father God. And all the businesses that I shop on online, which is mostly Walmart, which I don't want to shop from them anymore because they played so many devious satanic games with me this month in December and February. Father God, it's pathetic, Father God, that I do not wish to do business with these people. They're freaking dirty, Father God, and devious. With their evil, manipulative voodoo schemes of games. And then they tell me that I don't have the right to buy what I want to buy for my apartment, Father God, with my money. That I'm patronizing them with that I don't have to patronize them with, Father God. So, Father God, I thank you for releasing your correcting fires on Walmart perps and all business people that I get goods from and services from, Father God, and Merchandise from Father God in Jesus Christ's name that I didn't mention on this show as well. In Jesus Christ's name, and this show is basically the deal with the Spreaker perps and the Anchor FM perps and the Vimeo perps, Father God, because they're connected to the mediums, Father God, to the media, Father God, and they're connected to the modern day slavery programs and they're participating in it evidently because they're offended at my content, my content of my episodes. So this is why they're always attacking me a lot, Father God, with my podcasts and stuff and episodes. And they don't want to pay me nothing for them, Father God. But they want me in a sponsoring program, Father God, but they don't want to pay me nothing and they don't want me to get the money either. Especially with Spreaker. And then they don't want me to get the listener support so sponsors can support the episodes and sponsor my episodes in anchor so it's a manipulative form father god to say i want you in my sponsoring program but i'm not gonna give you nothing and i'm gonna make sure that you gonna get nothing and that you can't cash it out or do nothing that you can't get the listener support and that your listeners don't listen to the episodes so you can't get no sponsoring support so father god they get me in the program to tell me that they're not going to let me succeed in the program the monetization program 
which is a joke and a mockery to me and an insult to me, Father God. And Father God, you said when we to touch not your anointed ones and do your prophets no harm, Father God. And when they do that, Father God, your judgment will come upon them and your punishment and your wrath and indignation will come upon them for the way they're mistreating me and your other people and the innocents, Father God, that are podcasters, that are revealing truth about things and standing up for truth and righteousness and exposing the works of the devil, Father God, and the evil agendas of evil, cruel, discrepant people, Father God, wicked people. In Jesus Christ's name. So, Father God, I ask that you cover this episode and this uploading of it with the blood of Jesus Christ and seal these prayers with the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's name, and cover my episodes with Spreaker and Anchor FM with the blood of Jesus Christ, that you will have your way and your will in my Anchor episodes and Spreaker shows podcast Father God in Jesus Christ's name Father God that your will be done and I give my Spreaker shows and episodes to you and my anchor episodes and shows to you Father God and to the hand of Jesus Christ and Jesus I give you the legal authority over Spreaker shows and episodes and anchor shows and episodes and tools in Jesus Christ's name, especially my content of it and everything in it with anchor FM and anchor FM Shows and podcasts, my podcasts that you have worked through me to do, Father God. I worked so hard to do these episodes, Father God, and I'm getting poo-pooed upon by the Spreaker staff and the Anchor staff people, Father God. And I pray that you release your correcting fires and fill their faces with shame, Father God, for the way they're abusing me and other podcasters. In Jesus Christ's name and using me and disrespecting me. In Jesus Christ's name and ignore me when I have questions to ask them that I have the right to know, Father God, concerning anything that I'm doing with them, Father God, with my podcasts. They can take my money, but they don't want to answer my questions, Father God. They good for asking my, for my money, Father God, but they don't. Spreaker is good for asking for my money, but they don't want to answer my questions. They don't want to, they don't want me to have any money. They make sure that I don't get no sponsorship, Father God, but a penny every blue moon, probably a penny a month. Father God, I pray that you will slap them right upside their heads with your correcting fires and convictions and strong rebukes of your correcting convictions, Father God. And that you will fill their faces with shame and confoundment for doing this to me and other podcasters out there and other networks too. Father God, abusing and taking advantage of podcasters and synthesizing them because they're telling the truth and Father God in manipulative ways and dirty scheme ways Father God in covert ways in Jesus Christ's name I give this situation over to you with Spreaker with Anchor with Vimeo Father God and with all the businesses that are being mean to me and abusing me and hate stalking me Father God and taking advantage of me and playing all satanic ritualistic games on me Father God and abusing, and harassing me and aggravating me and agitating me and provoking me to anger. I pray that you will boomerang every evil thing that they're doing against me back to them, Father God, ten times fold. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Judgment of-